just going to be breaking down certain mechanics in the game as quickly as possible. So today we're going to be talking about solar seals, be talking about why you want them, where you can use them, and where to find them. So let's get into it. Three main purposes for using solar seals. The first one, probably people see the most, is going to be in the door creation here. You can recruit specific heroes. I highly recommend not doing this here. It costs 300 solar seals to actually run this. And then you'll be able to get one of these characters here. But as you can see, it's rares, uncommons, all this. Solar seals are relatively hard to come by. Highly recommend not doing this. There's better ways to spend your solar seals. What would that be? There's, I think there's two good ways to spend your solar seals. First one, I think this is probably the best one, is going to be here. Uh, and then finding characters in the shop here under solar seal. So you're in the exchange and you go scroll over to solar seal and you're going to find memory fragments of a character the characters you're going to want are characters that are required for challenges that you have not unlocked yet for the special part of the challenge. For example, Nurmash is one Wilkes is one. I believe Inanna is one. I believe in Karen. I'm pretty sure every single one of these characters is required for a particular challenge. You can unlock faded gear. That's going to be your best way, especially if you're free to play. This can be a really good way to target characters that you need. Next is going to be a new addition and that is going to be unleashed potential. Now you find Unleashed Potential, so it's going to be under Journal, and then it's all characters legendary and below. They have the ability here, you can click, it's this, this little guy right here. You click this, plus 300 Zess. Here, let me show you guys an example of a character that I've already unlocked. Legendary characters have less options to unlock than rares. Here's one that I unlocked in Kaya here, very good option uh, for you. And then it's going to cost, to upgrade moves, it costs 2,000 solar seals. And then as you go down to the next move, it costs 4,000. So 6,000 total per one. That's 18, you know, yeah, 18,000 solar seals to max out a character that you're trying to level up. But you get massive rewards, like, uh, but you get massive benefits of doing so. For example, heals all has by 55% of own maximum health. Now you use the solar seals down 66%. So that's 11% increase. And then down here, the next move, it's 66. It goes up to 83%. So a massive jump in ability really turns the kid around especially on the right side here where it's turning passives from in her case it, it's turning it from the worst version to the best version down here from first aid one all the way to first aid three and the benefit of that is going to be spreading a lot more or being able to gain a lot more mana quicker unleash potential is awesome i think this is the more expensive expensive one for sure that's going to be the one you're going to want to hit up after you farmed all the characters from challenges because challenges are always going to be your your first priority and now that we know why we need solar steels how do we get them is going to be the exploration with liffy here what you're going to be able to do is if you get lucky it'll actually say in the game it's called lucky and then gale will show up and it's very similar to this encounter here with Garot, where you do one or two damage based on if you hit, um, just hit or if you crit, you get the two damage. You'll miss a lot. The best character to bring, if you have them, is going to be the Fate Core version of Gale, which is available from the previous core raid and then also from the first tier of rewards in this core raid. So just definitely be sure to pick him up and then actually equip the Fate Core and make sure he's on your team. So when you are doing exploration, at least in this team, when you're roaming, roaming around, We'll have him on there. Reason why you want him is he's guaranteed to crit and doesn't miss. So he's going to not only not missing, he's going to be doing two damage every single time, which makes that fight significantly. How you get solar seals from dispatches is you're going to build up a team and there's going to be certain thresholds on power that are going to allow you to get more and more solar seals. Roughly get anywhere from 30 to 60, depending on your power. And then what you got to do is make sure you're trying to hit the maximum threshold for each one. I believe I have the maximum threshold on this one and the maximum threshold on this one. And then I just need to slowly build up the rest of the roster to be able to have the maximum power power so i'm getting the most amount of solar seals big thing is it is rare and below for this so just keep that in mind it doesn't matter so notice how the stars on these characters are way higher you know i mean six star six star five star but they are but they were originally a rare character so that's why they're still allowed to be on my dispatch team and that's how you're going to actually hit the levels that they're requiring you they're requiring of you then now now we got a challenge here the challenge is going to be the side story get one at one token per day of the side story how it works is based on the rotation here is going to be some of the characters you require it's also going to require other characters but it's going to those are going to be two of the actual um, named characters that are mandatory for the mission so in this case since it's colin's friendship day it's going to be colin colin and then also this machine guy and then as you can see here it's colossal joel mk1 and colin but then it's going to require two other things so it requires two commons and then also two frost and they can overlap so you're seeing frost common frost common and then there was only four characters really required here so that's why i was able to and then that's going to be a free win it doesn't really lower the requirements too much as you go down or um, but
but it is going to like it slowly does but it is going to make the the actual match easier for less rewards but if you can beat the maniac it's, i think it's 285 i believe that doesn't change as long as you beat maniac it's 285 solar seals so that's another uh, good way to get it another thing I, I wanted to show that i really like what they do for side story that i wish they would do for other ones so you can like see the days in advance it, you can go here and on rotation information you can scroll down and see exactly the characters you need well in advance uh, and actually see if you have them or not so in my case i do so then the, the big thing is just going to be making sure to have the the commons and the rares it's significantly harder if you don't have a dragon character if you have a dragon knight character literally all you need to is have one and then they'll solo it it just takes a bit okay and then so then lastly for solo seals it's going to be something in the mailbox that you can get and it's for like peak time you get 60 for peak time and i don't understand when peak time is maybe they just kind of know when there's a higher load you signed in at that time so then you they designate you qualify for the 60 solar seals so that's another way to get them kind of consistently throughout the days if you're on a lot like uh, i find myself you know i just i'm just always signed in on the emulator so the game thinks i'm on all the time and then i'll come back and check like oh yeah you're on at this peak time and it's like i really i really wasn't it was just i just had it on but all right guys well that was it for the quick tips on solar seals, why you need them, where to get them. And with that, uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and you have a good one. Peace.